Hola! Welcome to In the Woodshed. I'm Dave Wytrolic. Today we're going to be exploring this finger exercise that I just discovered and made up about five minutes ago. And uh, it involves a tricky move with my hand. I noticed that, uh, you know, playing scales and exercises, whatever, I noticed that like my third finger is probably the weakest finger when it comes to moving independently, especially when it has to uh, sort of um, move away from the pinky finger, especially when the pinky goes up and the middle or the, uh, the ring finger has to go down. That's like the hardest possible thing I can imagine to do with my fingers right now. But anyway, so um, here's some exercises that will help uh, develop that, that I'm kind of trying. So first of all, what I'm doing is I'm going to repeat this simple pattern of playing A with my first finger and uh, B flat or B natural. So. And then um, following that up with F and E. Okay, so let's just say we do that. So, so that's kind of you know just it's it's doable, but it's um it's definitely working that specific movement that seems to be awkward for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it on the string group. I'm going to repeat the pattern. I'm going to ascend up the frets. Okay, so I'm taking it down here to like the first fret, doing F, G. E flat to C if you're in the notes. Anyway, following the fingers. And then going up the neck. So working I'm gonna work that for a little bit. To make that even harder, uh, we can space the fingers apart. And we can also um, maybe go here from F to G. And then with the fourth finger, I'm going to play. Uh, B natural down to, uh, to A flat. So I'm kind of doing that same first finger, third finger, and then fourth finger, first finger. I'm doing that same pattern spaced apart a string. So that makes it a little bit more challenging. Going up the neck with it. Okay, so that's kind of awkward. Um, other, uh, other things you could do that. Uh, let's go back to the two string group and um, uh, this time on the fifth fret. So we're going A again, B, G, E natural. Okay, so I'm doing that, but I'm going to cross strings. So I'm going to do it on the, the B and E string. Then I'm going to do it on the, uh, the G and the B string. And then next set. I don't know, I got seven strings. So anyway, so that's another hard, kind of hard thing to do. So anyway, focusing on the main dilemma of your independency of your third finger. Um, these are some things that I thought I'd share. Okay, well thanks for tuning in to the Woodshed this week, and uh, come back next time. Meanwhile, keep shedding and shredding. <laughs>